You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. And I said, no, it's not a priest. It's a sexy undertaker. Oh. Mm. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Mike, what have you got up your chufty for us today? Well, I've got a story about our favourite seaman and he's literally off his own box. Oh, mm, nice. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the Cud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names ramble across the screen, we get ready for this week's showbiz with Lee. We've got some news about The Simpsons. Da, da, da. Mm, not necessarily The Simpsons, a family, but a character out of The Simpsons. Oh. Mm. So, um, Waylon Smithers, who is Miss... What? It's the name makes me smile. Makes us giggle. He's yeah. obviously... He, we know him as... as Mr. Mr. Burns is, is no <laughs> Mr. Burns is assistant. Okay, yeah, and he's out. And he's out. He's an he's an out gay character in The Simpsons. Okay, um, he's finally getting himself a boyfriend. Oh, and that boyfriend is going to be a billionaire. Well, that's good because mm. he, he he has a bit of a thing for Mr. Burns, doesn't he? He does, doesn't he? It's a bit creepy the way he he literally. He, mm, My favorite yeah. whatever is is the one where Liz is going around to his house and he's got a screensaver. Mr. Burns going. <laughs> You're literally quite good at turning me on. <laughs> you should probably forget that. It just makes me smile. Does it? Does he? Do, it's another one where he has a dream where Miss, where Mr. Burns is singing Happy Birthday, Mr. Smith, uh, Mr. What, what is Mr. it? Smithers. Mr. Smithers to him. Yeah. Happy Birthday, Mr. Smithers. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so Smithers is going to get a boyfriend who's called Michael de Graff, who. Um, this is a picture of them here having a snug snug out. Uh -huh. um, and he's he is a fashion designer. Okay. So in an upcoming episode, which has yet to be shown mm. on the, uh, it's gonna he's gonna meet him. They're gonna meet. Uh, I don't know whether they're gonna kind of be together for a long time or whether it's just a couple of episodes. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it, what the the guy who voices him mm -hmm. has said that he, he hasn't played a lot of gay characters, but every time he does, mm. it, it brings back certain feelings oh. um, that he had as a, a young actor where you couldn't be gay. Right. Um, because the guy that actually voices him mm -hmm. is gay himself. All right, okay. So, yeah. So the, the syn synopsis for the episode is that Smithers finds true love with a famous fashion designer. Um, but will his new relationship destroy, destroy, destroy Springfield? <gasps> that sounds that sounds very cryptic. Ooh. So the episode is going to be called Portrait of a Lackey on Fire, okay. which is a pun on the 2019 lesbian-themed movie Portrait of a Lady on Fire. I haven't seen that. Neither have I. No, no. So Harry Shearer, who provides the voice of Smithers, mm. as well as Mr. Burns, which is a bit weird, isn't it, doing the voice for two characters? At the same, he'd be like swapping from one to the other. No, they'd just record one and then he'd record the other one. Okay. Um, so <laughs> he starts saying this is great, great for Smithers because mm -hmm. he's finally found somebody. So it, I didn't realise it was that. So 2016 is when Smithers actually came out. Yep. Up until then, it was kind of alluded to that he possibly was. Because mm -hmm. there's a number of other characters in The Simpsons that they allude possibly. What are the two friends of um, Homer that work in the... Lenny and Carl. Lenny, they all kind. They always tend to kind of insinuate that they possibly could be, but mm -hmm. they haven't really. Um, so good news for 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 you know he's not real, but you know we we'll wish him all the best. Yeah, great, great for him. I wonder if he gets any peen. Possibly in the Simpsons. Well, there's children, so you know they've had children. So that, <laughs> okay, yeah, Sorry. it's my weird logic. Think, think about what you just said. Yeah, no. I wonder if he gets any peen. Well, there's children. No, no, <laughs> no. I know what I know what I'm th thinking. About. Okay, okay. So we've got some Janet Jackson news now. Miss Jackson, if you know. Miss Jackson, if you know. It's not. We've not had much Janet Jackson news for a while. No, because she sat at home going, "I'm rich." Yeah. Well, do you remember the whole Super Bowl incident where Nipgate? Um, Nipgate. Nip -gate. Well, it was more than a nip, wasn't it? It was a full boob when she was dancing with, performing with Justin Timberlake, mm -hmm. and there was a wardrobe malfunction uh -huh. where her bosom um, was released. And... <laughs> <laughs> Release the bosoms. <laughs> and but it, it, she had like um, like a gold sun on the end of it, mm -hmm. um, so you couldn't see nipple. 
just a lot of lot of fleshy fleshy bosom. Yes. Um, so 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 that was back in two thousand and four, um, and um, it it really t- harmed her career because sort of middle America were like how how dare that happen and how dare she have how breasts? dare she have a breast that may fall out um, now she <laughs> she always. Um, but how dare she have a breast that might fall that out? That might fall out. You're, you're allowed firmly <laughs> encased bosoms. You but... see, it was supposed to be part of a, a of the dance routine where he pulled something and revealed kind of a bra top underneath, uh-huh. um, but obviously, you know, didn't. Um, Justin Timberlake didn't get any flack for it whatsoever. He it was kind of like, yeah, Justin. But she, the the radio stopped playing her records. She, you know, she was stopped being invited onto television programs, all that kind of stuff. And it really harmed her her, her career for a while. Um, there's now a documentary about it because why not? <laughs> not just about the breast, about other things as well. Janet Jackson, my left tit, my left tit. There's interviews with it. <laughs> you know, sat on a, you know on a beach, pair of sunglasses, that kind of thing. Um, so it's called Mal- malfunction. The dressing down of Janet Jackson. <laughs> they, um, they missed a trick there. They could have called it Mammaries of Janet Jackson. Oh, yeah, mm. So yeah, so the, so it's by the same <laughs> that people funny. that did the Britney Spears documentary. Okay. Um, so they're looking into kind of like the circumstances around it and the impact that it had on her career and kind of like sort of feminism in general is kind of like it's okay for men, you know, if, if he didn't get any flack. Because he pulled it off, but it's her breast that fell out, so therefore it's her fault. A lot of people don't actually believe that it was an accident. Okay. A lot of people feel that it was, it was intended. An intended. It was. In, it was fully intention that that's what it was going to. That's what she was going to do. I mean, I watched it, and um, I kind of think it could be intentional. Okay. Because. It looked convenient the way that that, that it looked was, convenient. <laughs> yeah, the, the way the placement of the nipple adorned flap out the boob was that's convenient. Mm, I'm not so not 100 percent convinced. Um, so yeah, that is it, it's coming out on on streaming services. Okay. Um, it all ties in with kind of like her. I think it's something like her 50th anniversary of being in the, the music industry. She, um, she must be getting on a bit now. I think she's like 51, 52. Uh, possibly a little bit older. Because she didn't start in the music industry at two, though, did she? Well, she was a part of the Jackson, so she was very young when she started. Well, two. <laughs> she was like four or five. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah. So that that would be very interesting to watch. I will watch that. Okay. With one of my breasts hanging out in solidarity for for Janet. Um. Although I bet oh, she, oh, we've heard in our ear she's fifty five. But she looks good for 55. She does. I mean, She's had no work done whatsoever. No, nothing at all. I mean, if you think, at the moment, Madonna is getting a lot of flack for her Instagram posts. She's, she's you know, she's pushing the envelope there with... Um, <laughs> some say, put it away now. Others go, go for good for you. Go for it. Just because you turn a certain age doesn't mean yeah. to say you're not sexy. Yeah, have your body out if you want to have it out. Just have a bit of... Have a bit of dignity. Just make sure you've trimmed. Mm, you know. So there we go. So last bit of showbiz news. Mm-hmm. Kristen Stewart. We've spoken about her previously. Okay. As in that she has announced her engagement to her girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Getting married this week. So she's announced that she's working on a gay ghost hunting reality show. I'm on board. Straight away I'm on board. Now is this is this gay ghosts or is it gay well, people hunting ghosts? What she said is it's she's she it, she's saying that um it, it's she's developing it. It's a gay ghost hunting reality show. Which she describes as a paranormal romp in a, in, in a queer space. A paranormal like romp porn. in a queer space. <laughs> to, uh, yeah. So what she's quoted now so again she says, "Gay people love pretty things, True. so we are aiming for a richness." Not quite sure what that means. I think she's just found some words. Some words. She, that she's is she playing use cards them. against humanity? The nice version. Well, yeah. Well, she, ironically, no further details have been revealed, and w- what kind of format it will be. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it's gay ghosts, gay paranormal, or gay people hunting for ghosts that are gay, um, who who knows? But I'm I'm on board with that. I I, I do enjoy a ghost program. Hey, ghosts! That could be the. That's not really what it would be, will it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these ghosts are aiming to put the willies up you. If that is your preference, yes. Or you know there are other sexual. Things out there, not just willies, you know. Like what? Uh, 
Uh, well, you know, there's there's vaginas. There's God's vaginas. There's there's um. <laughs> Just ignore uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, all my I, I, I find that interesting. I, you know, a gay ghost hunting reality show. You're not convinced, are you? No, because ghosts don't. Aren't oh, we're not going. Real. We're not. We're not doing that again, Mike. They, 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 they do. They do exist. They're here. They're queer. You can sometimes see them. Get used to it. I believe is the end <laughs> of that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> gay ghosts. That's the end of this week's showbiz news. Okie dokes. Well, um, I'm going to say thank you. I'm not sure exactly why I'm saying thank you, though. It's up to you. You're welcome, you dusty old man. But stick around. <laughs> As next is Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's have Mike bring us the buzz. We have a warning. Really? Yeah. So if you think about so like all things recently that have been not been able to get hold of. So last year we had the, the fuel shortage, mm -hmm. you know, panic bought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had people running out of toilet rolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's been hard to get hold of chicken. KFC had to stop selling chicken. Nando's couldn't sell chicken. It's all been a bit, oh, mm. well, Greg's have issued a warning. Now. <gasps> what about? They're warning that vegan sausage rolls may be running out. You mean they're running out of salt? Yes. <laughs> that the flavouring of salt. The main salt, ingredient salt, salt. of a <laughs> vegan, vegan sausage, sausage roll. roll? Yes. This is a picture of a steak bake. Okay. I prefer the look of a steak bake. I'm not so keen on the sort of discharge bit at the bottom. That discharge bit of the, the leakage of the steak leakage bake. Leakage of the yeah, yeah. beef. That's to tell you which end to nibble from. What? So it leaks to, so you know which end to start biting from. This is new information. It's also bullshit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, really? Yeah, we never do it. Yeah, it's the leaky end that you always bite, though, isn't I it? I don't eat anything from Greg's. I mean, I'm not up against it. Don't get me wrong. I'm a sexual hand. Um, it's just not my thing. No. No. Never wanted a cheeky steak bake. No, not really. A pie bomb. No. 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 Okay. Um, well... They said that there have been temporary interruptions to the supplies of products, including vegan sausage rolls, across the country. <gasps> okay. Mm. Yes. Greg's outlets in places like Canary Wharf, Earl's Court, Richmond, South Wolford and Twickenham all ran out of vegan sausage oh, rolls. Oh, well. So where there's a high concentration of vegans. Oh, okay. They just ran out. Thirsty, thirsty people. <laughs> thirsty people. Thirsty people. Thirsty people. Uh, well, let's go to another shop and get one. But you can't, you can't get a Greg's vegan sausage roll from anywhere else. You can get vegan sausage rolls other places. But they're not Greg's ones. But who cares? It's a sausage roll. It's vegan. It's a taste of salt. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all. But yeah. Um, Greg's have also launched a version of their festive bake for vegans as well. Okay. Have you had a festive bake before? No. Has it got turkey in it? It's got turkey stuff in cranberry. It's literally... It's just like a Christmas dinner inside pastry. Inside pastry, yeah. Okay. I have never eaten one. They're tasty. Are they? Yeah, but they've also got a vegan version of those as well. Is that they? salty? Very salty. <laughs> have, you, have you had one? I had my face imploded with the amount of salt. Oh. Yeah. You see, we 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 tried them and they were salty. Yeah. They were... Salty, salty. <laughs> Why is salty. that? Because they have a lot of salt in them. Are they trying to kill the vegans off by, <laughs> by high blood clogging pressure. their arteries by... by all the salt? It's like, here's hypertension. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not sad about that story. It doesn't really affect me, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> oh, sad, sad face. Sad face. Mm. Squish, squish, squish. Oh, they help me make more. Mm, uh, sad face. Okay, well, this one, this one will prick your interest. Prick it, will it? Yeah. Okay. But what else are you going to do with your interest? Peak. Peak your interest? Peak your interest. No, because then you're at the top of your interest, aren't you? Come on. Anyway, We're not um, getting any younger. <laughs> well, definitely some of us aren't. Um, and this is a, news about an armoured car in America mm. that has spilt its load all over the highway. What was that load, Mike? Money. 
Oh. Yeah, now you're interested, oh, aren't you? interested. Yeah, well, you thought you might have been semen, not that interested, <laughs> but yeah. It's loads of money. Oh. Those well-known armoured tankers full of spunk that travel, go across bulls, the... Bull semen is very expensive. So if you if you have well, bull semen, it's worth more than gold. Okay. Yeah. And now you know. Sperm. It's more expensive than you think. Um, but yeah, $100 bills went flying as it spilt its load. All oh, the wow. And... People were running around um, picking up the, the bills. Yeah. Um, it was in San, San Diego, right in LA. Mm. Yeah. And people stopped and just picking up, filming themselves, recording it, uploading it to TikTok, going, Look, I found all this, I've got all this money. Are, they, are you allowed to do? Are you no. allowed to take the money? No, it's technically still theft. Because um. you know it's not yours, you know whose it belongs to. Um, and so the police department started going, OK, so who's been putting on TikTok about this money then? Oh, and then going arresting them. And arresting them. Smart people would just fill the pockets and then never say anything. You'd say that, but the driver actually didn't pick up any. He just filmed people picking it up. Oh. So he basically watched the money go out and thought, oh, no. But then he got his fine out and just filmed people picking it up. Didn't think of picking it up himself, though, put it back in, did he? No, because he didn't need to. Because people were stealing people it. People were picking it up for him. Yeah, but they weren't giving it back to him. But they are now giving it back to him. I because, wouldn't. well, the police are knocking on your door going, you know, money. Prove it. Cut your own video with it. <laughs> prove that's me. <laughs> <laughs> how, can you, how can you prove that's me? Just because you've, you've got it on video doesn't mean to say that it actually is me. And that's all I'm saying. I'm just putting it out Have there. Have you seen the way you dress? B this isn't an... This <laughs> <laughs> Sexy Sorry. Undertaker tries to steal money from the road. While wearing teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Necklace of teeth and a, a laurel wreath and a hat. <laughs> yeah, I would probably dress down low. <laughs> While going, oh, no, I'm going to have a sit down. <laughs> it's hot out here. <laughs> uh, to be fair, uh, the bending down, picking it up doesn't interest me. If it flo flew towards <laughs> me in the wind, then I'd snatch it. So if, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't snatch it. You'd get it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can't get a litter picker out. I'd run home and get my fishing net <laughs> and then scoop it all up. So the people have to give it back, otherwise yes. they go to jail. Yes, two people have been sent to jail already. Oh, my word. Um, because they took quite a large quantity and refused to give it back, so they went... Oh, well, I, you know, I, I think if if he's not... if he's, It's fair game. It's they say that game. about what happens when a ship sinks, don't they? And the, and the cargo washes up on the beach. It's You can have it. Not true. I thought you could. No, it's only if, if you... So, salvage rights, so when you're getting a wreck and you have to claim salvage rights... Just go, I claim salvage rights. No, it's not. You don't just go, mine now. <laughs> Take this crate of cars home. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> right? You have to actually apply for, to, to salvage oh. it. Oh. Right, and say it doesn't belong to anybody because anybody that's got it will have obviously done an insurance claim and that sort of thing. So, it, it's still the property of someone, so it's just taking it as theft. Yeah, but again, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just like the guy. No, 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 Yeah. Was it me or was it my doppelganger? Who knows? But then you have to prove that you weren't there. Just say I wasn't there. <laughs> it wasn't me. That <laughs> wasn't famous there. line from the song, <laughs> it wasn't me. Just going to go and play Shaggy at them. I just think it's very selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Share the wealth. Yeah. If, you, if yeah. stuff falls out of your car or your truck, that's your fault. Therefore, I'm having it. If I can get to it quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we hope a hearse never lo loses its load around you. Well, no. You know, well, that's his body bag. That's my granddad's mine now. Prove it. Where do you think this outfit came Looks from? Looks like my granddad. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got flowers on it saying granddad. Prove it. Prove it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but on that note, if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at The Cud TV and our website is thecud.tv. And that brings us quite nicely, I say nicely, over to our story of the week. Now... This is a story about semen. Semen that you've, you've had in your mouth before. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy a fishy finger. A fish finger. Oh, oh, uh, you know, a finger of fish wrapped in Okay, yeah. Hands. I like a fish finger sandwich. Yes. <laughs> and a ciabatta. Ciabatta. A ciabatta. Ciabatta. <laughs> enjoy a fish finger ciabatta. Okay, and as, as a, a lasagna thing, you've made me... Fish fingers with beans and stuff. Oh, that. yes, we did that. Yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. screaming back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it still haunts my memory. That was not good. It was not tasty. No, no, no. no. It was not nice. No, but you insisted we ate it. Yep. Yep, repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, Captain Birdseye is being taken off his box. 
he is being replaced. Who is he being replaced by? He is being re uh, replaced, no, by... Bearded fish. <laughs> bearded fish. He's got a beard, hasn't he, Captain Birdseye? He has. They tried to sexy him up a bit, didn't they, for, for a while? And to be fair, it worked. He mm. got a bit dilfy. Yeah. Yeah, but still, trying to sell me fish fingers. Um, but yes, um, it's, he's been replaced by a seven-year-old budding chef from Manchester. Oh, that's not sexy. Um, didn't say it was sexy. <laughs> it's not going to make me want to buy a fish finger. I'm a child. <laughs> from a child? I'm a child. I'm a child. <laughs> what do children know about fish fingers? <laughs> you know, the main con <laughs> consumer of the products. <laughs> what do they know? So a seven-year-old chef. Taj um, entered a, a nationwide competition looking for children aged 6 to 12 to submit a fish finger recipe. Okay. Okay. So um, I think you could have beaten him with this because he came up with fish fingers as a burrito. He just put a fish finger in a burrito. Poor. I mean, he's six, but... Still poor. I'm afraid if that's a, if that's a nationwide competition... Putting a fish finger in a burrito is not is not the not the winner. Oh no, not burrito. Sorry, a taco. It's still the still same. Still the same. It's just a different type of. It's not like he invented a completely new new meal like what I did. Yeah, but yours didn't taste good. This is at no, least taste all right. But that that you know that that defies like, the point. Buy our fish fingers. It'll taste minging like it this. It looked fine. It looked it looked nice. Um, so it, what's it look nice? So so he so he's gonna so they're gonna glue a beard onto him. <laughs> No, no, they just put his face on the packet. Oh, okay. Yeah. In a sailor suit? No, just his face. Are they abandoning that whole nautical vibe then? Just a little they? bit, yeah. Even though it's from the sea? Yes. Well, well. But fear not, it is only a temporary change. Captain Birdseye will be back with will us. Will he? Yes. At least it'll be a bit sexy. Well, on the package, it's not been sexy for a while. It's only the adverts has been sexy. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. That was informative and fishy at the same time. Stick around as coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cod. This week we are playing the Gobby Game Show. It's not good when he's doing it. Actually, it's creepy. Off you pop, Barbarella. Barbarella. Game of the Week. The rules are quite simple. Mike is going to try and say what's on his card, and I have to try and work out what it is with a ball gag in his mouth. Are you ready? La la. I believe that was I'm ready. It's a loop. It's a nut. Go. It's a nut. It's a nut. Mm. A Brazil nut. Mm. Use it with alcohol. You have it with alcohol? No. You use it to make alcohol. You use it to make alcohol? Yeah. And cake. And cake. Oh, would that be mm. an almond? It would be an almond. What did they make? What alcohol did they make out of almonds? Pardon? Amaretto. Amaretto. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. It's an action. It's an action. Are you tittering? <laughs> you giggling. <laughs> Don't tickle me, I'll wee. Mm -hmm. Are you being tickled? <laughs> wow. Right, I'm a flop fruit. You what? I'm a flop fruit. You've got cold feet. I am. A flop fruit. You're a pop group. The steps. 
<laughs> Is it a modern pop group? <laughs> Boys or girls? <laughs> Men? <laughs> Both? <laughs> Is it S Club 7? <laughs> <laughs> Random <laughs> guesses are the best. <laughs> or I cannot understand a word. <laughs> Yeah, but I think. That's one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is a clue. A vase. A vatch. A vase. A bed. Five. I don't know what you're saying. A vase. A pig. No, vase. Just get on with it. I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm too old for this shit. It's a song, isn't it? A song? Mm. It's like you're an SM clanger. <laughs> I have not a single clue on that one, Mike. It's a place. It's a place. A room. Near here. It's a song. It's a song. It's a song. It's a song. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, dear, and I haven't got the patience to work it out. All I can hear. There's no point getting angry with me with a ball gag in your mouth. It just makes it worse. <laughs> it's the shot. Mm. It's a big cock. It's a big cock. Mm. No. It's a big clock. Uh huh. Countdown clock. No. Not the one. Big Ben. No. Little Ben. No. It's not the one. It's not a Ben. No. It's not a one. It's not as big as them. It's not the old one. You got the mum. Mum. No. Your dad. The grandfather clock. Oh. Grandmother clock. Oh, clock. Okay. Oh, that one. <laughs> Lips. No, oh, this one. Straps. This one. Mouth. This one. Tissue. No, this one. Ball gag. Okay. Yeah. Part of it. Tennis. Mm -hmm. Can I inject you with a lethal dose of medication just to just take you away? No. Um, something about a ball and about... Is it badminton? Uh -huh. Shuttlecock. That's not all the thing, but this also is a lot. That's... I don't know what you're saying! That's the point of the fucking day! Right. What's this? A strap? The whole thing. All of it. All of it? Uh-huh. It's a ball gag. Okay. Yeah. A ball gag smack. What the f*** are you trying to say? <laughs> FM. Something FM. <laughs> Ball gag FM. SM <laughs> 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 needs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just cannot understand. The more, the more, I just... <laughs> I'm going to flip this table in a minute. <laughs> BDSM. Yeah. Is that it? No, no. Well, why were you going on about a radio station? <laughs> oh, I forgot this. That's one. Rope. A rope. A rope. A boat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Long rope. 
a long boat mm -hmm. and a canal a, on a canal mm -hmm. a barge uh, in Venice in Venice mm -hmm. um, a gondola on the line on the line on the back of the I'm just, there's a lot of, I've got rage. On the land, on the rock and roll. Right, do you know what I'm hearing? Oh, wah, 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 wah. It oh. doesn't make any sense. That's because I've got a fucking look at the mouth, see? That's called them. It's a good game, too. It's a very little thing, make it difficult to understand, I think it's far too restrictive of, for me to understand what, 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 what is happening. We've got them before. Oh, let's see that. No, on, on the, the back of a gondola. A gondolier. Oof. You could have given me when I said gondola. That was just... Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, Hitler. Hitler. Christmas. Hitler. Clitlick. <laughs> Hitler. Mm -hmm. Hitler with a hat. Hitler with a hat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> That well-known Nazi. No, it's a hot Yeah. Uh, what is this? Blonde hair. Flowing hair. Blonde hair. Massive tits. Massive tits. Jordan. No. Katie Price. No. What's a fun person? Pamela Anderson. No. We like her. Like her? No, we like her. I like her. No. And she's got blonde and massive, she's blonde hair and massive tits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kylie Minogue doesn't have massive tits. Mm -hmm. She's tiny. No. Holly 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 Willoughby? No, Holly 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 Mears. Holly Holly Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah. Well, while we all gather our wits about us, after this quick break, we'll be coming back with that science that is. God help us. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show where Mike is going to promise us a big bang. It's that science that is. Science, that is. I never promised you a Big Bang. You never promised me a rose garden either. I beg your pardon. They're, those lyrics are out of, out of sync, aren't they? <laughs> it's I beg your pardon, I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're doing something, as you said, a little bit more impactful than the oh. previous ones. Because Lee's always, oh, it's, I want fire, I want fire. So I'm just going to start off by saying, do not try this at home. Because it involves fire. You're going to get to try it now, Lee, so it's okay. Right. So, do you know what gunpowder is? It is what you fire out of a gun <laughs> to kill people. No, it's the propellant used to fire things out of a gun. Oh, the the, 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 the balls. The balls, yes. Mm. Yes. Um... Gunpowder is actually very, very, very old. It was invented by the Chinese. Was it? Yeah, and there's three main ingredients. The three, three ingredients are saltpeter, sulphur, and charcoal. I knew saltpeter. Great bloke. Hmm. Okay. Now, what we're, what we're going to do is a slightly weaker form of gunpowder. Oh. Okay. Um, so we're still going to use saltpeter, but we're also going to use a bit of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar? Powdered sugar. Because because you need something called the, the fire triangle. 
Now, if you, for those of you that went to school this century or last, uh, late last century, Lee won't know this one because, you know, fire, hot, burn, ah, um, and wheel. Oh, this is the new thing called the wheel. Um, watch out for that stegosaurus. Um, you need three things for fire to work. You need heat, oxygen, and fuel. Okay. Now we've got, we've got our fuel here, which is the powdered sugar. Okay. And then you've also got the saltpeter, which is the accelerant, because that actually oxidizes the reaction. Oh. So all you then need is the heat, which we're going to provide using a flame. Oh. Okay. What I want you to do is carefully mix these two powders together. Do, do, does it, do, do I not need to know which is which? No, because they're both going to be mixed together. Okay. okay. You can tell the, the easiest way of finding out which one's which is if you shake up one of the tubes, right, your powdered sugar will leave residue behind. Boom! <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry for trying to make it funny. <laughs> So it's, which one have you got in your hand there? Uh, I think I think that's um, sugar. Yeah, because the saltpeter won't leave a residue behind. It'll just fall to the bottom again. Okay. Okay. Right. And then you just want to mix them two together. Okay. okay. In one of the test tubes. In the test tube? In the test tubes. Okay. Do you want me to, to go first or do you want to go first? I'll let you go first. Okay. Going to take the lids off. Stoppers. Do I have to be careful pouring, or does it... You don't have to be careful pouring, you just have to be careful once they're mixed together. Okay. And the ratio for this is, is one part saltpeter to one part icing sugar or powdered sugar. All, all of this powder? All of it, because it needs to be equal. So it's one to one ratio. Okay. Okay. And if you pop the stopper on that one and start to shake it... You said they shouldn't. Didn't shake them. Did I? Did you not? No. How? how see, I'm a bit nervous now. How? How? <laughs> how vigorously? Okay, you want them to mix well together. Okay. So kind of just like. Just yeah, you want to mix them up well. Okay. Now because I've not got mine in handy test tubes, I just have to coax mine out a little bit. So give it a good, you can you can give it a, a, a wanking action. That would help. I want to give it a wanking action. Well, that's the kind of ferocity you can go. I'm just tip, tipping it up, tipping it down, tipping it up, tipping it down. Okay. And I do believe that's actually having the... Okay, because this is what's called a hemostatic mixture. Oh. Which... Which means that once these are two mixed together, you can actually separate them out again quite easily. Oh, and how would you do that? Um, with a sieve. With a sieve? Yeah. Because the powdered, the powdered sugar is, is a lot smaller than the saltpeter. He always had that problem. Mm, I've heard. Mm. Okay. Go on, give it a good sh You need it to be really well mixed, Lee. It is really well mixed. Now, once you've got it well mixed, yeah, Okay, we're going to pop a tiny into our reaction vessel. This is not a ramekin. I've not been eating goo puddings. Um, this is just just a little bit into the reaction vessel. The reaction vessel. The reaction vessel. That's what I call my. <laughs> so I've got a little little pile of. So I've got a little pile there. You know what? Don't do it I, all. I sometimes call my loving oven a reaction container. Do you really? Yeah. How much do I put in, Mike? Is a that little enough? bit. A bit more? A tiny little bit. Tiny bit, okay. So if we just look at how much I've put in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then just let's see how much you've put in. So you've got quite a bit more in there, Lee. You want me to put more in? No, 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 no. You have got quite a bit more in. I have not put very little. Okay, so now all we need to do is add heat and flame. Okay. <gasps> oh, it started. 
Oh, no, it's going out. Can you see the smoke coming off? Yes? No. no? So it is reacting. As you can see, we've got little black spots where it is reacting. Because we have to be safe, it's not as violent as gunpowder. So I'm putting a measured quantity in now, just to see if that helps. You gonna snort it? See? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh, will you look at that? It's like a genie coming out of a lamp. Oh! Yeah. Smart detectors are going to go off in a minute. <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh, you're going to... It's going to be a bugger getting that out of your ramekin. <laughs> oh. So it's your turn now, Lee. <laughs> I don't think I want to do it now. <laughs> now that was my reaction vessel going, you put too much in me. Has it cracked? It has just shattered, yes. Oh, my goodness. Bit, yeah. That's not good. It's dangerous. Mm. Yeah. So because I saw yours... Uh-huh. Cracking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put mine on a protective surface. So okay. I've got a. I've got a. Um, a thing here to put it on. So you want me to? So you need to get a little scoop of it on the end of your, your tube. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then put the flame on that. And when it starts, when it, when it sets off and it gets hot, you then put it into the middle of your mixture. I don't like it. So go again. Get a good scoop. There you go. I feel like I'm a crack whore. Yeah, a crack whore wouldn't make that much mess. <laughs> now put it in. Oh. Mm. I don't think I want to do it again. You don't want to do it again? No. Okay. But not only is that a reaction, that's science, that is. <sighs>